Yeah guys, welcome back here in a wonderful nature. Um, as you can see, I'm on a little lake today, um, here in the background. And it's near than my than my um, my village where I live. And I think about 50 minutes with my bike. Um, so it's really nice. And I just discovered this lake um, yesterday um, because I didn't know that here's a, such a nice lake um, near my near my um, village where I live. And when I was here yesterday, um, I noticed that it's frog season right now. And yeah, that's really nice because here are a lot of frogs. Um, here are. I don't know, I think three lakes, this is the biggest one, um, I can show it to you later. And I can hear a lot of birds, they're making loud noises, um, and here are a lot of fish. Um, here. But here is the bigger, bigger lake, um, I know it's not a, not the biggest lake, but here yeah, I'm really happy to found it. and. On this lake it's a bit difficult to photograph the frogs because um, I can't get really really um, close to the water um, but on in this direction um, are two smaller um, lakes and there I can lay down near to the water and hopefully I can take nice photos today um, yeah here are also some ducks I think three ducks um I don't know I think they're on the on the frog lake um so in a smaller one and maybe I can take some some frog and uh, not frog some duck photos too today um but I will focus me to photograph the, the frogs and here yeah, it's really really warm today I think about 20 degrees and it's really warm so in the sun it's hot <laughs> so yeah I hope I find a, a shadow place um, so yeah but now I will don't talk anymore I will go to the other lake and hopefully I can find some frogs can you see the fish here are so many holy moly and really big one um, yeah, it's really hard to focus um, but I think you can see them <laughs> there's a really big one there <laughs> it's really funny to watch them swimming in the water <laughs> um, but here now I will go on okay guys um, I'm now here on this little other lake and um, I can show it to you so here I am <laughs> and yesterday the frogs were here in this cross um, but now they're not here anymore I don't know why and I'm a bit sad right now because it was really nice to photograph the birds here because I could lay down here and photograph them here and here the, the frogs are spawning right now and as you can see here is is some frog spawn and I saw that it is um, out of the water here um, and that's not good because the, the tot, tot oh I know I don't know the um, correct English name um, so here the frog spawn is dying now um, and I think that's because um, one day when the fox spawned, um, can you hear this woodpecker in the background? I think it's a great spotted woodpecker, and he's really loud. Um, but anyways, when the when the fox spawned, um, the the water level was higher up, and now it in the last days it was really really warm, so the the water water was going back and now the frog spawn isn't in the water and 
Yeah, that's quite a problem. Maybe the the frogs aren't here because the ducks are there behind. I don't know if you can see it. This little movement. There are two ducks and I'm not sure but I think ducks are hunting and eating frogs. Uh, because last day, so yesterday, the ducks were in the in the other lake, in the bigger lake. And maybe um, the frogs escaped um, from the from the from the ducks um, uh, but I'm not sure um, so if you know why the frogs aren't here or maybe they are um, going back in forest and because they're they finished uh, spawning here and there's something moving I think there's a frog uh, but I'm not sure here there's a frog but he's too far away um, yeah if you know why they aren't here um, today, write it in the comments. Um, yeah, what I'm doing now is um, I will go to the bigger lake because I heard some frogs um, when I was um, was there um, ago. But yeah, it isn't really good to photograph there. Um, but I will try it. Okay, guys, plan change. I found a frog. A frog. Can you see this little white pointer? It's a frog and he's looking out of the water. And here I will try to photo photograph it now. Um, but I think he's too far away. Um, oh, there's another frog. I don't know if you can see it. Um, wait. There he is. And he's a bit closer. Um, <laughs> now I, I can find some frogs. But yesterday, here were more frogs. Um, but here, I will try to take some photos from them. And here, I will, uh, will show you some other photos from yesterday now. And then I go to the other lake. Okay guys, um, I'm sitting now here on the, on the, on the other side of the, of the lake and when I came here um, I saw a frog and I could take one bad single photo um, of it and then he or she jumped in the water. Um, and here, now I'm waiting here since, I don't know, I'm half an hour and I have the feeling that I'm dying because it's so hot. I'm sitting here directly in the sun and it's so warm. And here are two more frogs, but it's really hard to see them. Um, they're um, I think about a meter before me, but I needed over 10 minutes to see them. And yeah, I will show you um, a video and a photo of the of 
this frog um, and maybe you can you can find it um, but it's really hard Okay guys, um, I d decided to go on now because um, yeah, I was sitting there, I don't know, an hour now and nothing happened. Um, I will check out, I will check out, oh my god, my hair, <laughs> my hairs, they're terrible, oh my god. Um, yeah, I will check out one more, another place. Now and maybe I can find some frogs there. Something happened since the last um, the last the last video I recorded. Um, I photographed the ducks because um, they came closer and closer to me, and I have some duck duck shots now. I will show you the the duck photos and videos, of course. Okay guys, um, I just want to say something about my equipment, um, because I think um, some of you say now, okay, I will, I will check my, the lake in my village or my city too and look for some frogs uh, about what I need and I think it doesn't matter or I think it's not um, really important what lens you're using. So of course you can use your normally um, your normal camera. So my I use my ESR, and I think it's really really helpful to have a tele lens. I think 200 millimeters are enough for. Holy moly! Can you? <laughs> what is going on here? It's really nice um, so yeah I hope you can understand me because this bird is really really loud um, yeah what I wanted to say is that 200 millimeters are enough for f um, frog photography um, so I use my 70 to 200 millimeter lens and yeah it's really nice um, I think it's helpful to have um, a good aperture so this lens has an aperture of four um, but um, yeah, you can also use a lens with an aperture 5.6 or something like that um, yeah and I think you can also use other lenses um, but I think it's important to have a little a little tele lens because um, often the frogs are about one or two meters um, far away and yeah, with a, with a uh, macro lens, with a 100 millimeter macro, macro lens it can be really difficult um, but yeah, you have to try it. Um, so go out and try it out with your lens and yeah. Okay guys, I heard a frog in this area of the sea. Um, yeah, I will try to get closer and go down to the to the water level 
and hopefully I can take some more frog photos. Um, but here I think I have to put a camera here, the frogging camera here, because here I can't, can't take you um, with me down because here it's really, really difficult to get there. Um, so here, to later. Okay, guys. Um, I'm filming this with my smartphone now because um, my my vlogging camera is um, up there um, and I'm lying down here there's the lake and here are so many frogs um, my camera is here and I turn the display around and here um, at the moment there's no frog but I can show you so now there's a frog I zoomed in now um, and as you can see um, this little there is the little eye of the frog and sorry I'm shaking a lot um, it's really hard to film with one hand and this red thing you um, that you can see this is a focus um, so it's much more easier to focus manual. And there's another frog. It's so nice. Wow, guys, that was incredible. Um, yeah, I'm really amazed. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. As you thought in the in my videos and photos, um, I showed you. Um, I was successful. Um, I found a lot of other um, frogs. Um, not on the same place than yesterday, but on another place. Um, and there's a great tit. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when I got there, they they um, sw swam away, and so I scared them away. But after after two minutes, they came back, and sometimes they were so close. That I couldn't focus because I only I only can focus with this lens um, near to 1.2 meters or something like that, and sometimes they were I don't know 80 centimeters um, close to me, and that was incredible. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked my photos and videos. Um, yeah, I think I recorded I recorded over over an hour now um because it was really nice um yeah i will check out um the place where i was yesterday again so from the beginning of the video and maybe the the um, frogs are back there and if not 
it doesn't matter because I was really successful today. Um, so yeah, I think the frogs are back. Um, I'm not sure where they were um, today midday, um, but maybe it was too early and they were underwater, um, so that's possible. Here I can see a lot of uh, not birds, um, frogs here in this area right now, um, and here. And a woodpecker. <laughs> I think I will um, come here on, on another day to, to um, do some bird photography because here are a lot of birds. Um, here, I will take some some more photos now from from the um, from the from the frogs, and then I will go back home because it's getting late. Um, and here. Guys, by the way, um, one more tip. Um, I think it's a general tip for wildlife photography, um, but in this case it's really important. Um, you have to try to go um, to the eye level with the animals. So it it's looking really, really bad or not bad, but it's not so nice um, if you if you fro photograph from up to down to the animal. Um, it's much more mu nicer to um, to f go down to the ground and photograph the animals on the eye level and um, yeah that's just another tip um, for better photos and that's not only for frog photography it's it's for every wildlife photography um, yeah and um, there are the ducks <laughs> guys here in this place are so many animals that's so amazing to see the wildlife and it's so amazing if if they're not um, running away if they see me because the ducks are I don't know they're about five meters close to me and they ignore me and that's really really nice um, so yeah I definitely want to come back another day here I think that's my new favorite place in my village. Yeah, definitely. Okay guys, um, I think I go back home now. Um, in my opinion it was a really, really successful trip and I'm really happy with my results. Um, <laughs> and I can hear the frogs in the background. Um, yeah, I think I will go back to this place um, in a few weeks when a tadpoles, um, or I don't know if I pronounce it correct, um, are bigger and um, change and when the tadpoles are changing to frogs, I don't know <laughs> the English the English um, names or how it's called in English, um, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, and the young, young um, frogs are um, coming out of the water then I will come here again and photograph this and if you will don't miss this video um, it would be nice if you if you subscribe and activate a clock and yeah maybe you can like this video and um, it would help me and yeah then see you next Saturday and have a nice week bye <laughs>